Today I'm coming to you with the nail tip of the week. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about different files to use for your nails as far as shaping, um, doing enhancements, it's something on my computer. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, different files for shaping, enhancements, everyday use, etc. So I just want to give you a quick look at the some of the different files that I use for my nails. Not necessarily on a regular basis, but depending on what it is that I'm doing to them, these are the types of files that I use. So, the first one that is most commonly used, and I have had questions about, like, Lauren, my nails are peeling out their enhancements, or um, they have the white spots on them, the white spots, or the nails aren't smooth, they have the little ridges in them from going to different nail salons, whatever. So how do you smooth out your nails, grow them out, um, take off a little bit of the yellow, you're not, you know, not buffing a whole amount of the nail surface off, and things of that nature. So what I've done, and if you go to my articles, it's kind of old now, I wrote it last year. Um, I think it's called what to do after wearing acrylics and what I did after I stopped wearing acrylics completely I would make sure that every week I gave myself a manicure but I would also lightly lightly <laughs> let me emphasize that lightly buff my nail bed and I would use a yellow nail block for that you can find these at Sally's um, not sure how much they cost there anymore but I mean it's just something very soft that you can lightly, lightly just buff the nail, buff out any of the nicks that's caused when you wear acrylics, especially when you wear acrylics from some of these shops that don't know what they're doing. They leave dips in your nails or little ridges and your nails peel and it's hard for you to get like a smooth surface when applying polish at home. So that's what I did. I used this to buff it out. Don't do it every day. I did it like once a week. And I did it after I manicured my nails just to make sure that the surface was smooth enough for polish application. Okay, the next file that's good for natural nails is the C&D Qualifile. I think, no, this isn't the Qualifile. My other one is called Koala. I'm not sure which one this is, but this is a mini C&D file. Um, these should be available at Ulta. And basically, it's a 240 grit. These are the files that I said you can use for the shellac, <laughs> when applying shellac. Because 240 grits is soft enough for your natural nail. So it doesn't damage it if you use it on your nail bed and also if you go back and forth across your nail. I still go in one direction just out of habit and because I use a stronger nail file before I discovered 240 and above really. So that's what I do. Then for your natural nail, if you like a natural shine to your nails, I like the OPI Brilliance Buffer. These are at Ulta as well. And like I said in a previous video, you can use a coupon that Ulta has in its um, weekly sales paper. Not sure how much it costs. I think it is kind of more on the expensive side. Should be less than $10, but still, if you could get $3.50 off a $10 purchase, then why not? So I always check for their ad when you go in the store. Even online, they have coupons if you spend a certain amount. And they also have the $3.50 off online as well. Then, or you can try to do this buffer. Now, I got this from PremierNailSource.com. Don't know what to really say about it. I kind of used it once or twice, as you can see. Little lines on it. It didn't really float my boat, so. But this is another route that you can go, you know, if it works for you. Um, Before I mention the last one, two, three, four. I just, before I mention the last four files, I just want to say that the grit of the file um, should be paid attention to. The higher the grit, the softer it is for your natural nail bed. And these, the buffers that give shine to your nails, have a very high grit. 
and that's why it adds a little bit of shine to your nails whereas the 240 it may remove um it may smooth out the nail bed and it's good for shaping but it doesn't cause splitting to the nail when you file it either if you're going in one direction so that's why it's good if you're strictly doing your natural nails like fouling and shaping them at home you want to pay attention to that because getting to the files used for enhancements these are well this white one is coarse and medium i use this for my pink and white gels that i use um dash and diva and i think they suggest using a white file just because if you're doing white tips that way you won't have to worry about any of the color of the foul coming off now if you have a really good foul if it's a really good black foul the color should not transfer to the white tips but you never know so i guess that's why they suggest a white foul i don't know if that's set in stone but that's just my opinion so please do not comment below trying to be all ugly about it i'm just saying that's what i believe it to be and this one is like a 100 180 grit black foul that i use also when I was messing with acrylics and it's good for um, buffing out any dents and really shaping the nail because the nail is so hard and sometimes people like thick nails thin however but it's really good for acrylics so 100 180 grit yeah leave that to the enhancements now for gel nails gel enhancements the white polar block is really good and it's really good because gels, I really, everybody knows I love gels. I prefer them to acrylics. It's no smell. Self-leveling when you apply them. Not that hard. Well, in my opinion, they're not that hard for me to manage or to learn how to maneuver and apply to the nail, create a nail, all that type of stuff. And so this is really good for smoothing out the nail bed. Um, you can also use it on acrylics, but I don't really work with acrylics, so I can't really tell you. But I love it for gels. It smooths out the nail bed just in case I do have like a bubble or um, a little hump in my nail or something. If I wasn't perfect with the application, it's really good. And it just smooths it out right before you add the finishing touches to it. So that's why the Polar Block is used. So Polar Block, 100, 180, medium coarse fouls. These are, should be used for enhancements only. You can try to use them on your natural nail. Some people do. And I have seen one, one nail girl that I really do like on YouTube. She uses a high, not a high, but a low grit foul on her natural nails. And she does that because she doesn't use nail clippers. And she uses it to um, foul down the length of her nails when they get too long. So I guess you can use it for that. But for me, if, if your nails are weak, I wouldn't suggest that route. I would use still a higher grit foul in order to foul it down to the shape that you want. But she has really strong nails, so it really doesn't bother her. And my favorite nail foul that I love nowadays, it's clear, you can't use it. I want to do it like that. Clear foul that I use. It's a crystal nail foul. This one is by Nail Tech. And when my online store is available, you will be able to buy nail fouls crystal nail fouls but those are a little bit more extravagant with the Swarovski crystals and different colors and all that jazz but for the one that I use for myself it's just this one and what I like about crystal nail fouls is that it prevents splitting and peeling of the nail you can go back and forth on your nail without causing damage and also what I learned recently is that um, they have crystal foot fouls. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because some people, if you don't do nails or if you do your nails at home and you're looking for a foul and you're diabetic or something, these are really good, especially when it comes to the feet. Because if you don't know, if you're a diabetic, you should not cut the skin whatsoever, especially on the feet. And a lot of people don't know that a lot of these chain shops that just whatever, whatever, they do what they want. But I found that really interesting because my grandmother loves for me to give her manis and patties. And I know I can't cut her skin. She's diabetic. But I didn't know what else to use to help, like, remove the callus um, outside of. We don't use the patty app, but we just use scrubs and different exfoliants in order to smooth her heels. 
So I was pretty excited to get a foot file for her. Let me find that foot file. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the foot file that I got. If you follow me on Twitter, then you know I went to Chicago this past week for the America's Beauty Show. I was covering it um, as media, and I got to meet a lot of great people. But here's a crystal foot file, and it has two different surfaces. One is smoother than the other, and I got something on mine already. Darn it. Anyways, so <laughs> I could wash it off, but... It's really good because then you can smooth out the callus and the foot easily without cutting the skin. And it's really good for those type type of people, again, for um, people with different diseases who can't get their skin cut. And another great thing about crystal fouls is that they're completely sanitizable. So you can wash them, remove the little white marks from continuously fouling, all that good stuff. So that's why I really like them. I've had my crystal file for, I want to say, months now. But unfortunately, you, you guys know how much I purchase nail stuff. And somehow, I just completely lost it and forgot about it. And then one day when I was cleaning out um, my nail art train case, I saw it there. Sorry, bro. I was wrapping it back up. So, those are the files that you should consider when doing your nails or even you know when you go to the salon and if you're getting a regular manicure and especially if you're going to one of these chop shops and they're fouling your nails and it hurts when they're going back and forth like they're using too high of a grit too low of a grit on your nails because I've experienced that in the past and I was like that really hurts like it it makes my nail tingle because the grit of the foul is so hard and they're going back and forth as opposed to just one way to prevent my nail from splitting or breaking and that's why my nails always broke when I was getting the natural ones done for them but anywho so if you have any questions about those fouls or if you have like any experience or anything at all please comment below you guys know I respond to all comments I welcome everything like I love sharing with you guys and love learning from you as well if you're wondering about my nails I put these nails up on my Facebook um, page which the link should be below as always but they're kind of old now but I did them a week the week of or the week before the beauty show that I went to and it's basically just a fun design with a uh, navy blue navy blue baby blue silver and even a turquoise blue that you can't really see on camera but it's there and then I did a fun nail that almost looked like looks like an animal print but it's actually dots on all of them on my thumb and my ring finger so there you have it and maybe I'll do a tutorial on this design I'm thinking about it but I have to do another design on my nails I'm going to a wedding this weekend so I'm trying to think of something really quick that I can do tonight before I head out of town so let me know what you think about this design as well and I will talk to you all soon bye